The U.S. government is taking measures to ensure the safety of the meat supply amidst outbreaks of bird flu and dairy cows. Federal officials are collecting ground beef samples at retail stores in states affected by the outbreaks for testing. Following the confirmation of the H5N1 virus in dairy cattle herds in nine states since late March, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention and the World Health Organization have stated that the overall public health risk is low, but higher for those with exposure to infected animals. Scientists believe that outbreaks may be more widespread than officially reported, with H5N1 particles found in about 20% of milk samples. However, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration has stated that pasteurization kills the bird flu virus in milk. The U.S. Department of Agriculture will be analyzing retail ground beef samples using PCR tests to detect any viral particles. The USDA has also implemented new requirements for testing lactating dairy cows for bird flu before moving them across state lines in an effort to contain the virus. Cows shipped directly to slaughter facilities from barns where they are sold will not require testing, only documentation of inspection by a veterinarian. The USDA ensures that all cattle undergo inspection before slaughter, and carcasses must pass inspection to enter the human food supply. Beef muscle samples from condemned dairy cattle are being collected at slaughter facilities to determine the presence of viral particles. The USDA will evaluate any positive PCR test for live virus. Additionally, the USDA will conduct experiments using a virus surrogate in ground beef to assess the impact of different cooking temperatures on the virus. Colombia has restricted the import of beef and beef products from U.S. states with confirmed cases of avian influenza. While there have been no reported cases of bird flu in beef cattle, a human case was identified in a Texas farm worker who had been exposed to infected dairy cows. Scientists warn against consuming raw milk, as the virus has been found in concentrations that pose a significant health risk. Experts recommend against drinking raw milk or eating raw milk cheeses, as they may contain live virus. The FDA advises consumers to avoid raw milk products and emphasizes the potential health risks associated with consuming these products. The agency has urged the dairy industry not to manufacture or sell raw milk products made from cows infected with avian influenza viruses. Veterinarians and researchers stress the importance of caution and adherence to safety guidelines to prevent the spread of the virus and protect public health.